heard your coach talking about how you made a point of not dropping the ball and counting that. When did that start and how was that going? Oh, well, it, it started during the whole spring. You know, we had a, a lot of drops during the spring, so, you know, we wanted to come out and, and make sure we kept the ball off the ground. How difficult is it to replace all that talent that left at wide receiver? I mean, it's, it, it's difficult to replace talent that we have, but at the same time, we have a lot of talent on our team to replace them. So I'm not really worried about it. What's it like, what's it like being the veteran guy? Um, it's a challenge because, you know, people look up to me as, you know, the leader at, on the receiver court. So I, I just got to come out in every day and work hard and, and make sure I lead by example. Do you feel like you've gotten better from the beginning of the spring now and in what ways? I, I feel like I've matured more as a player, just coming out and being a leader and, and helping the guy next to me. When is the last time you dropped the ball? Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Has your technique improved? Or well, absolutely. I feel, you feel like, more sure. I feel like I, I became a better, you know, player, better receiver, you know, throughout the spring. You know, with all the coaches and all the, their help and all my teammates helping. I, I feel like I became a better player. I'm playing a lot more of the slot now. How's that felt to you as opposed to playing a little bit more on the outside last season? Uh, playing in the slot is fun because you know you get the line up against people that you know, don't really match up it as far as skill set because, you know, they're bigger and slower than I am. So I can, you know, get around and, and get to where I need to get faster than I could work for playing outside with the same speed type of guys. I know you've kind of played a lot of, all over the field at the wide receiver position, but have you reached out to Eli or any of the other uh, past slot receivers for any tips or anything? I mean, I talked to Eli a lot. You know, Eli was one of you know, my closest friends when he was here. So, you know, talking to him, he just basically told me to get off the key, you know, to come off and you got to get into the defender and use your speed because he's told me that my speed is a weapon. What Have you found Devon's it easier to get open out of that position this spring, or is that still something that you're getting used to there? Uh, you know, it's, it's all about technique. So, you know, I'm just trying different techniques, you know, to line up against different defenses. And it, it's becoming easier as we go on. It's becoming easier, but I can't, you know, say it's easy. Do you feel like you're faster? Absolutely. Devontae yeah. was such a dominant presence. I mean, he's going to be a top 10 draft pick. and comfort uh, for the quarterback in the red zone. How do you guys replace a guy with those skills? Uh, we have two big receivers on the outside, with Jaquay Savage and uh, Jamari Staples. Those guys on the outside, really, you know, they can go get the jump ball because they're, they're big big guys, you know. With their side, they should be able to be a big matchup for DBs. I think you've got to call all your passes from Reggie tonight. What, what have you seen in him, and how much does he improve from the end of the year? Um, I'm watching Reggie from high school to college. He's grown as a player because he, he knows how to check look at his reads and you know he can run the ball and pass the ball well and he just goes through everything and he works hard every day at practice so that, that's what's making him a better player every day he just works hard to practice what are some of the ways the coaching staff is trying to combat the drops with the wide receiver core uh you know they, they just get on us a lot you know tell us that we, we can't have it you know as a receiver i take it personal when i drop the ball so i try to tell the guys that every time we drop a ball, we have to take it personal. Was there a worse day? Was there a, a day that maybe it started to change? or? I mean, I, I think that within the last couple of weeks, you know, we really picked it up and really started to catch, focus in and catch a lot more balls and that we should catch and that we were dropping before. I feel like we became a better receiver. Is it it's nice in a game when Lamar's not right there when you catch a ball or drop a ball like he is in practice? Uh, I mean, it's... Nice not to have the coaches out there with us while we're playing, but you know they help us a lot. But it's just going out there today and just having fun and you know executing the plays. How about the return game? Have you been getting much work in there, and how have you improved maybe in in that area? Uh, I'll probably be doing a little bit more kickoff return rather than punts this year. Okay. So you know that's all I really know about that. You went down for a while near the end of the first half. Anything significant there? Or just I'm fine. Just bang your knee or what? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people nervous there for a while. <laughs> James, what are what are your expectations for yourself now as as the as you know, I guess maybe the best receiver on the team and, and you know, having always a lot of people always thought so highly of you. I mean, what do you kinda of think about what it'll be like going into your junior year now? Uh, my expectations for myself is to come out and help this team, you know, win as many games as we possibly can. You know, I wanna come out and have an undefeated season, so I wanna come out and, you know, give my team everything that I have, because I expect that from there. All right.